With so many Bluetooth speakers on the market, could the new Hyperboom by Ultimate Ears be beast enough to be crowned the heavyweight champ? Or is it just hype? Let's find out. Ultimate Ears, the makers behind the Boom, Mega Boom, and the Sonic Boom, no wait, that was Guile, have emerged with a brand new heavyweight tank of a speaker, the Hyper Boom. It stands at 14.3 inches tall, since it's square shaped, has a width and depth of 7.5 inches, and weighs in at 13 pounds. While it may be beefy for some, it's easy to carry thanks to its easy to pull out rubber handle. Underneath that handle we find the connections which offer a great deal of variety and make the speaker versatile. You have the DC power connection where you can either keep it plugged in or charge it as the unit is rechargeable up to 24 hours. With the aux input you could possibly use it as a computer speaker. The optical input allows you to use it as a makeshift soundbar. And finally, the USB charge out port allows you to charge your phone, giving you extra time to anger those neighbors. I get asked all the time, what microphone should I buy? What camera should I buy? What do you use to shoot YouTube videos? That's why I put together starter kits with exact specific gear recommendations so anybody looking to build a home studio, get started in photography, or starting a YouTube channel can find exact specific recommendations to help you get started on your journey. Check the description below for that link. On the top of the unit we find four main sections. A giant plus and minus button control the volume, and when pressed together tell you the battery percentage left. 100% charge. There's a power button on one end with the source inputs on the opposite. One and two are to switch between Bluetooth devices. The circle is to select aux, and the square to select your optical input. It's Bluetooth 5.0 and has a range of up to 150 feet using services like Spotify, Amazon Music, and Apple Music. It features built-in calibration using Adaptive EQ, which measures your audio environment and adjusts audio to match. It's also got different EQ modes including Bass Jump, Game Cinema, and Podcast. It's got a frequency response of 45 Hz to 20K and is rated IPX4 splash resistant, so while you shouldn't let it fall in the pool, it can handle an accidental spill. While I don't consider myself an audio know-it-all, I have worked in recording studios for years and have had a ton of home theater systems, so quality is a big deal. That said, what separates this speaker from the rest is the internal design and placement of the actual woofers and tweeters. While other Bluetooth speakers only have a front-facing design, Ultimate Ears designed this unit so that you get a left and a right stereo image by using two sides of the unit instead of one. I spent a few days getting acquainted with it, mostly using it as a workout speaker while I did weight training in the living room, and it was perfect. Music sounds well-rounded and balanced, the EQ to bass ratio is spot on, and there's no distortion at higher levels. If for some reason the speaker isn't loud enough, you can pair it with another hyperboom for an even louder atmosphere sure to get the cops knocking. Whether the $400 price tag is worth it is up to you, but if you're looking for the ultimate Bluetooth portable speaker, the boom is not just hype. Well, there you have it. So let me know what you think. Is there something I forgot to mention that should have been included in the original video? If so, let me know, drop it in the comments below. Maybe you have a different opinion, a different recommendation, or just something you'd like to add to the conversation. If so, let me know, drop it in the comments below so that I or somebody else out there can respond with whatever information we may have. 
On a final note, you may or may not be aware that I suffer from several incurable illnesses, including Meniere's disease and mast cell activation syndrome. These are debilitating illnesses that have forced me to give up my corporate career, which is why I now pursue YouTube and photography full time. If you'd like to help, you can make a donation at paypal.me slash jacobdarkphoto. Anything you help with will go a long way to keep my channel afloat, help me pay my bills, and keep my life going. So thank you in advance. With that said, more great content is headed your way, so thank you for watching, stay tuned, and have a great day.